Hello and welcome to CSS tutorial number four. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about um, positioning of um, boxes using the CSS um, attribute of position. Um, so to start off with, let's show you, I've made um, two boxes here, um, basically uh, 200 pixels um, height and width, uh, border one pixel solid and black, background red and the other one background of blue and they've both got a margin of uh, 10 pixels, the top right, uh, uh, top right, bottom left, uh, both of them have. So what we're going to basically do is play around with positioning. Now um, this is with normal um, CSS um, that you've already learned and normal HTML, it just goes uh, beneath each other. Um, so well, what if we want to put one box, uh, the blue box over to the right hand side and we want the red box to be all the way over to the left hand side. Now how can we do that? Well okay, there's, um, there's one good method of doing it is basically using um, the position. Um, let, let, let's show you. So we start off by spelling position correctly and basically saying absolute. And what we can do is we're going to copy this and paste this into here as well. So they're both position absolutes. Now with position absolute, what it means is it's talking to the screen exactly where it wants to be. Okay, it doesn't matter where you want it to go, it will position it exactly there. So this will this being here where my cursor is being top um, and left in the far corner, top zero and left zero. This being um, top zero and right zero, okay, or left a thousand and twenty-four whatever you want it to be. If you're talking from the left then it needs to be all the way left 1024. The easiest way to do is just by saying right zero which will place it to the far right hand side. Okay so let's start off with um, the blue one. So what we're going to say is top zero pixels so it's going to be flush against the top and we're going to say uh, right zero pixels. Control S to save and we'll refresh and that's it all the way over to the right hand side. Now because it has a margin of 10 which is why it's got the margin uh, around here okay so if we take uh, this margin away control S to save now it will sit flush against it but I'm going to keep the margin in because it just um, it's just a little bit better. Okay so now what we want to do is basically position this a red box over to the left hand side. So what we simply do is we say top zero pixels and left zero pixels. Control S to save. Come here and that sits now obviously this has got a margin of 10 as well so it sits flush to the left hand side. And if you didn't get to have a good look at the code of what, what is there we'll just go through it. We've got position absolute top zero this is for the red box uh, left 0 pixel, width of 200, height of 200, border 1 pixel solid of black, background is red and margin is 10 pixels, that's 10 pixels top, right, bottom and left. And the other box 2 is pretty much the same just with the colour being uh, blue and it's to the right hand side. Okay that in simplicity is um, po the position absolute. Now what we can also do is basically put this box, this blue box, with inside this red box and wherever we move this red box, the blue box will go as well. So how can we do that? Now it's very simple. So what, what we do is we'll just go down to the code and this is the simple code here what we have. So box 1 is the red box. Now if we basically cut this out and paste this into the center, so now it's with inside box 1. Well let's make box to 100 pixels wide and height so it's smaller and we'll come back to here now we can see that the blue box it only knows that um, the dimensions of the red box because that is um, the position outside for all it knows is basically that the border the border of this box is the position of where it can go to so this being top um, zero right zero top zero left zero and so on so now when we move um, the, 
the red box top so we'll push it down from the top by 50 control s to save and you can see the blue box moves exactly where um, you want it to go now which is extremely clever um, and you can't really do this in HTML without CSS so that's very clever as well um, yeah that's pretty much um, pretty much it for positioning we've also got um, the Z the Z Z the American then um, the Z index which we can say Z index equals the right I'll clarify talk about this this white space here okay is basically the Z index of zero and everything is with on is within the Z index of zero okay now if we make a Z index of one or two that just adds another layer on top so it's just sitting on top of of it and anything beneath it you won't be able to see unless it's obviously um, see-through so what we'll say is the Z index of one is here what was it say the Z in index two here and then the Z uh, index oops, equals one here and control is to save okay what we need to do is basically we will take out um, this box here okay and put this by itself again let's just tidy this code up slightly okay so now they're now the two own boxes all right and what we'll do is we'll make um, these boxes copy that and we'll make them in the same position control s to save and as you can see now the blue box um, has disappeared well it's not disappeared because it's beneath the red box is because what we said here is that the z index is 2 well 2 being higher than 1 means that number two, this box being box 1 here sits over the top of box 2 now if we change this to 3 control is to save come back to this now the blue box sits over the top of the red box okay so that's pretty much um, how it works now um, yeah that's that's it in a nutshell and very very simply is that you can position you can overlap boxes by using the z index um, attributes which is which is pretty cool um, I'm going to um, leave it there for now on this tutorial there are a couple of other um, properties of the position attribute being a relative inherent and static and fixed um, but really um, for the time being position absolute um, is good enough um, for you to use so it's a, a means and ways to build websites uh, without having to worry too much about the HTML you can position the boxes uh, where you want it's a good starting point for you to build a good uh, website by just using position position absolute I wouldn't rely on it all the time because you have the worry of basically uh, ha having to uh, um, wanting to have boxes that auto expanding and so on but we'll move on to that later but for the time being um, uh, I hope you enjoyed it um, if you've got any questions come and contact me um, at thornwebdesign.de uh, uh, and I am absolutely happy to answer any question um, that you require me to answer and if you've got any ideas about any other tutorials then just give me a um, just give me a shout and, and I'll try my hardest to do the tutorial for you well that was it I hope you enjoyed the lesson um, yeah thanks very much and goodbye